This is part 167 of ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss using ASP.NET validation controls with reCAPTCHA control. This is continuation to part 166, so please watch part 166 before proceeding. If you have a validation summary control on the page and if the reCAPTCHA control fails validation, it automatically displays the error message in validation summary control. So all you need on the page is the validation summary control where you want the error message to appear. So let's look at this in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So this is the same example that we worked with in the previous video session. Now immediately after this table row which contains our submit button, let's include another table row and then within that another TD and let's set call span equals to and then within this TD let's include a validation summary control and let's set four color attribute to red so the error messages appear in red color with these changes let's run our application so the web form is taking a bit longer to render here and let's click this register button Notice that the validation error message, the verification words are incorrect, is displayed within the validation summary control. Now notice here we have a second validation error message. So where is this coming from? This is coming from this label control. So if you recollect from the previous video session, within the submit button click event handler, we are checking if the page is valid or not. If the recapture control has failed validation, this property is going to return false in which case the control will get to the else block and here we are setting that message validation failed uh, you know as the value for the text property of the label control now since we have a validation summary control displaying the error message we no longer require this else block so let's get rid of that and let's rerun our application and let's click uh, the register button and notice that we only get the error message within the validation summary control. Now let's see how to use a custom validator control with recapture control. So here is what we want to do. We want to display a red asterisk next to the recapture control. So this red asterisk is going to tell us which field on the form has failed validation and the detailed error message will be displayed in the validation summary control. So let's see how to achieve this. So the first step here is to actually include a custom validator on the page next to the recapture control and look at the custom validator configuration here we are setting text equals star so that's what will be displayed when the uh, recapture control fails validation and then we are setting color to red and here we are specifying the server side function that needs to be called so using this on server validate attribute so this is the method that gets called to validate uh, you know the recapture control so within the server side method we are using the is valid property to check whether the recapture control has failed uh, validation now recapture here is the ID of the recapture control and is valid property is a boolean property which is going to return true if it has succeeded validation otherwise false and we are setting that you know as the value for is valid property of server side validate event arguments object okay so those are the two steps required to speed things up I already have the required HTML for this custom validator already typed so let's copy that let's go back to Visual Studio and then on the web form so here we have our recapture control within this TD so here let's actually include a table and then include a tier and then let's include two TDs one TD for the recapture control and another TD for the validation control that is the custom validator control so let's copy this recapture control and put this inside this TD alright within the code behind file we need to have that server side validation method and again I have the code already typed so let's copy that Alright, so with these changes, let's run the application. And when we click register, 
notice that we get a red asterisk next to uh, the recapture control and the detailed error message within the validation summary control. Thank you for listening and have a great day.